All right, let's go ahead and begin. You're going to go ahead in iPhoto and click the picture, see how the yellow is highlighted. Then go up to the top of the menu and click Edit and Copy. Then you're going to come down to the dock, and whether you want to be in Word or Pages, it's up to you. Click in the document, in this case, Pages, so the cursor is blinking, and click Edit and Paste. So the picture from iPhoto will be in your Pages or Word document, and you need to figure out how to resize. So just grab one of the corners. In this case, it's going to have to be the bottom corner. And you... Okay, once you grab that bottom corner and resize it, you'll see it will place itself properly. Then you go back into iPhoto again using the dock and grab another picture. Make sure it's highlighted. Click Edit, Copy, down to the dock, back into the Pages document, click in the document, Edit, and Paste. And again, you'll have to resize the document. So click on that corner. Now, if it's Word, what you'll do in this next step is right-click and go to Format Picture and then click Layout. But in Pages, you can't right-click. You go to the Inspector and you'll click Floating. Once you click Floating, Graphic Floating, you'll be able to move it around as you desire. All right, so you have the two pictures as you desire. Then you go up to Edit, uh, to File, at the top of the page, and you will print because we want to get this into a PDF file. Bottom, you're going to select Open in PDF Preview. In Preview, you're going to go to the Tools menu and click Select Tool. Now we want to take this preview document and only highlight the, that area that we want to keep, and that's the two graphics. We want to make the two graphics one. Then we'll go to Tools and Crop. Now in this case it's asking us to duplicate so we don't mess up the original. And there is our PDF file with two graphics that we want to make into one. So we will click File and Export. And we're going to export as a JPEG or a TIFF, either one. We'll clean up the name. We'll give it whatever name we want, making sure to maintain the JPEG extension, and click Save. It's going to be saved to the desktop. You see it on the bottom right. So we'll use Command F3 to drop to the desktop. We'll grab our new picture. Click it just once. We don't want to open it and touch the space bar for a quick look. And there is our graphic. We've combined two graphics into one JPEG.